Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about OpenAI Realtime, Eleven Labs, and Vapi's voice AI tools, and which ones are the best for your applications. I spent the last month testing out each of these three apps, and I'm going to show you exactly what I discovered. We're going to cover speed, cost, quality, ease of use, and a framework to decide which one is best for you. Each of these models have different features and benefits, so we'll dive into each one. OpenAI Realtime is a speech-to-speech -speech model, so audio comes in, audio comes out, there's no middle steps. It's like having a direct conversation with ChatGPT using your voice. So Eleven Labs is a little bit different. They have a big collection of voices. So as you see, they have trending voices, um, they have different languages you can choose from, different people, and then they have a bit of a playground where anything you could say gets, you can generate speech with different people, different kind of uh, voices. So let's try this one. Hello, my name is Berto. But you can also change the, the voice, the creativity, make it more creative and regenerate. Hello, my name is Berto. Vappy is a little bit more tailored towards designing workflows. So you can come in to the, um, to the Vappy application, create assistance, you can define the system prompt for how you want them to act, um, some of the tools they have access to, um, and their overall tone of voice. You can also change the model that it's, that's underlying and it shows the cost. Um, and then you can design workflows. So this is a template workflow that I, I use. You can also create uh, different templates that they offer. For example, appointment scheduler. So we'll, we'll just uh, test this out really quick. And while it is going through the conversation, it is picking up different variables from you. So let's just try it out. Thank you for calling Wellness Partners. This is Riley, your scheduling assistant. How may I help you today? I'm looking to schedule a new appointment. Are you a new patient to Wellness Partners or have you visited us before? Uh, new patient. What type of appointment do you need um, today? Uh, do you have a provider preference or want the first available? Uh, first available. Got it. What type of appointment are you looking for? Is it primary care, specialist, diagnostic, wellness, or urgent care? Also, is there any urgency to this appointment or is it routine? Uh, routine and specialist. I need your full name, date of birth, and phone number to schedule. Hello, how are you today? Hey there, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How about you? How's your day? Now let's just go over some pricing for each of these different providers. So for OpenAI, uh, going down to the real-time API, um, for GPT-4.0, the input tokens are $5 per million. Um, for cash tokens, it's half of that. And then for output, output tokens, it's about $20. Um, for speech to audio, it's about eight times as expensive for the input tokens and about four times as expensive for the output tokens. Um, so then just comparing that to some of the everyday models like GPT-4.1, it's $2 input per million tokens and $8 uh, per output token. So it's about half, uh, the regular model is about half the price of the voice model. Taking a look at Eleven Labs pricing, they have a free tier which gives you up to 10,000 credits per month. Um, and then they go incrementally to starter and then creator, um, which increases exponentially. Um, and then also the creator and pro have different benefits, for example, uh, giving you conversational AI and text to speech. Um, so it's pretty uh, simple pricing. It's all scaling, but it is everything is on a monthly basis. It's not variable pricing like OpenAI's real-time API. Um, and then if you run a business, it can go up to thirteen hundred dollars a month. Now looking at Vapi's pricing model, they mainly base their pricing off minutes. So as you can see, the agency plan you get three thousand call bundle minutes for startup plan. You get seventy-five hundred call bundle minutes. Um, they also have SMS chatting per message, um, and they also do things like HIPAA and, and data compliance. The nice thing is you can estimate your cost. So for example, if you have it, your company does 100 calls a month, and each average call length is, let's say, five minutes, um, and the average prompt tokens is 1,000, 
Um, you can you can also choose what your which models you're using for text to speech um, and speech to text, um, and then also transportation service and large language model. And so you can configure everything, um, and then it gives you an estimated total monthly cost, which is really nice because some of these um, pricing models can get pretty complex. So to get started with OpenAI Realtime, first you need to connect it to WebRTC or WebSocket, and the instructions are down here. And then you're gonna create a conversation here. You're then gonna handle the connection with WebRTC, and you can also stream audio input to the server so it's continuously being fed um, for faster buffering. You can also send full audio messages, messages with this uh, code here. And you can also create custom context for the response, so adding additional data. You can also do function calling during the conversation and detect when the model wants to call a function. All right, so now let's look at 11 Labs. 11 Labs is pretty simple. You create your API key in 11 Labs, you add the environmental variable to your app, and then from there you install 11 Labs. And from there, it's pretty much one, um, one call. You set your text, your voice ID, the model ID, and you run the code. And it's, there's more, they also do conversational AI, but for speech to text, or sorry, text to speech, that is the, um, the initial way to do it. So Vapi offers multiple guides. They, own a, they offer a guide for phone calls. Um, so you could test the phone call just using the a curl command or you could set up a, a phone number in your VAPI dashboard. So you set up your assistant and then you can configure your phone number and then you could test it out by um, clicking the test, uh, make a phone call option and then VAPI will call you and you will begin the conversation. You can also use the TypeScript SDK. For web calls, it's uh, quite similar except you need to install VAPI AI for the web add your API key, and Vapi also offers a voice widget that you can include in your website, uh, both in HTML and React, um, to make it easier for you to implement it. Each of these apps provide different benefits and you can also use them together. For example, if you want to use OpenAI's real-time just to transcribe text or uh, gather quick information from the user in your application, that is probably the best method for that. But if you want to have a fully developed phone call workflow, then Vapi is probably the best option for you. And if you want to create a customized voice based off text that you have, whether it's on your website or uh, different things that you're writing, then 11 Labs would be better. Uh, but you can also use these all together. For example, you can use OpenAI real time in Vapi, and you can also use 11 Labs in Vapi where you can change the voices of your speaker. So depending on your application, I would play around with all three of these. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you liked the content, please like and subscribe. I definitely love to hear some of the things that you've been building um, and also some ideas for, for new content. Uh, please reach out to me on LinkedIn if you have any questions and I'd love to connect.